the content brief is like a metadata of your article. It requires you to define persona, that means your target audience who you write the article for, topic, motivation, so that means uh, why your audience is interested in the content that you're about to write, transformation, that is what do you expect your target audience will change in their behavior, and the goal, that is what do you want to achieve Let's say you decided to fly a plane, like you decided to write an article. What do you do? Do you just uh, jump in your car, drive to the airport, probably steal a plane because no one at the right state of mind would actually give you one to fly? So would you steal one and try to start it and try to fly it? If you did, leaving aside that uh, you'd be committing a few crimes on the way, you would probably die anyway. Because you don't know how to fly a plane. No. You would probably do an online research on how to learn to fly first. Then you take a theory lessons and after you understand the basics, you would get in an actual plane, probably a light one first, so that you learn how to operate that kind of a machine. Writing articles is the same. You can write articles without filling content briefs, without doing outlines, but the article will most likely fail. First of all, you will struggle writing the article and you will not like the process, so you will not enjoy it. Without knowing the right persona, it's going to be uh, hard to provide the right level of detail um, of the technical things. Without having a specific aspect of the topic that you're writing about in mind, you will likely fail to explain all the things that you want to in your article. Without having an outline, you can start creating the article, but you will end up rewriting it many, many times. It will also be much harder to review, and once it actually is reviewed, you won't have time or the energy to actually take in the comments and improve the article based on them. And most importantly, once the article is published, it's likely it won't be successful. Define your audience as specific as possible. Really think about that single developer on the other side of the world that's having the struggle that you're about to solve. The more specific persona you define, the easier you're gonna be able to focus on what's really important. Look at the topic from your audience's point of view. Really try to think about how your angle changes if you're writing about a feature like marketing automation from a perspective of a newcomer to Kentico compared to an experienced developer solving performance issues with high load of contacts. The angle is completely different and the way how you write the article will be completely changed. If you write article because you're trying to reuse some content, it's great that you know a lot about the topic that you're trying to cover, but take a moment, try to think about your audience, try to put yourself in their shoes and look at the topic from the right angle, from their angle. Everything can be converted into a very good article. The topic should be described in a single sentence. If you have a struggle, it's likely you need to split that topic into multiple articles. It's not the longest article that wins. It's the one that does not contain any information that can be omitted. So what is it that your audience wants to achieve? How does your audience relate to the content? People will like your article for two reasons. First of them is if you're talking about the struggles that they have in their line of work. That's great for articles that describe a specific feature or a specific problem. The other option that you have when you write an article is to write about a person, a human being, that your target audience can relate to. So if you're writing about a person that's becoming a developer, every developer has been there at least once, so they can relate to it. If you're writing about content management, every content manager probably heard the word WordPress. So you can start your story with an anecdote that uh, contains these words. The key thing here is to try to level with your audience and figure out what your audience cares about so that they can relate to you, relate to the problems you're about to solve, and that will get them hooked on your article and they won't leave right away. The motivation should be described in one single sentence. If you can't do it, you probably need to better specify the topic of the article. 
So what do you expect your audience to change in their behavior when they read your article? If you're writing for developers, what do you expect the developer to change in his behavior when he arrives at work in the morning? That's the most important thing here. That's the takeaway of uh, your audience. One article means one audience means one transformation. Really be as specific as possible and define only one thing they should change. This will greatly help you when you finish your article and you need to summarize what you've told the readers because you know what is the key thing they should change in their behavior. So you can emphasize that in this paragraph and it also helps you to define the specific call to action that needs to be at the end of the article where the readers can go to next. Goals actually define what you are expecting from the article. Now it's important that this is a measurable metric. You can use page views of the article, but much better thing is if this ties to the transformation. For example, for this video, my transformation is all the viewers start doing content briefs. And I can measure that on articles that I will need to review. So the best thing is to have a measurable metric that you can evaluate after some time your content's been published, because that way you will see how your article performs and it will make also you happy to see that the time you invested in the article is appreciated by the community. If you define who you're writing to, what you're writing about, and what is the key thing you want your audience to change or to take away from your article, you're subconsciously putting yourself into their shoes and that will already improve the quality of your article. 